consistency. Above all else, you must be consistent. This is my number one best tip for anybody trying to lose fat, someone trying to put on muscle, trying to get healthy, trying to do anything in life, you must be consistent. You must be committed to your goal without leaning on motivation. If you're using motivation as some kind of crutch to get you towards your goals, then you'll fail. It's as simple as that, you will fail. Why? Because we all feel unmotivated some days. Some days you don't wanna get up in the morning. Some days you don't feel exactly perfect. Some days you would just have other things that you would rather do. Some days you're lazy, some days you're discouraged, some days you're depressed. Okay, those are all normal feelings and it's healthy. It doesn't mean that you're going to be less successful if you feel those things. Just get out there and try every single day. If you go into the gym and you kind of have a bad workout, you're not feeling as strong, you're putting on half the weight you usually do, that's okay. That's really good. That's actually so much better than just skipping it all together and coming back when you feel stronger. But it's in those days where it's the most crucial that you keep taking steps towards your goals. Contrary to what most people believe, it might not be that you have a bad plan. You might actually have a really good plan. The problem is that you're not sticking to it long enough. Sometimes you don't even stick to your plan long enough to reap the benefits. The truth is that almost all workout routines and programs are good, okay? It's not always in the mastermind of the trainer or whoever made the program for you. Sometimes the key is just to not give up, you know? The, the key is just, just to keep doing it. Not try it for two months and think, ugh, I'm bored of this, this sucks, I miss my old lifestyle. The problem is just that you weren't consistent. The truth about workout routines and programs is that you can get similar results from all of them. Choose this program or that program by this trainer or that trainer or this website or this article. The body will always adapt regardless to whatever imposed demands it receives. So stop blaming this reason for why it didn't work or that reason for why it didn't work. You could pull up a list of programs, close your eyes, pick one and if you do that for a year, you'll start to see results from it. If you tried a new diet for a month, or you tried a new workout program for two months, you don't know anything yet. You've only done it for a number of weeks. Talk to me after one year, two years, you know? Then you can think about, hmm, maybe this program's not working for me. Would you trust someone at your work who's only worked there for two or three months to start training new people? Probably not, why? Because they don't have the experience that you might have to start training new people. They haven't gone through all the things that you may have gone through. They don't have the experience and the wisdom that comes with time and consistently being there, you know, to, to problem solve, to actually think and analyze what you're doing in your life and make a correction. So just pick a program and do it without fail for a year and then make an educated decision. And if you pick the best workout routine of all time, but you only do it once a week now and then, once, you know, once every two weeks, it doesn't matter. It's not always about having the best workout and cranking it to 100% intensity, going all out for that workout and thinking, man, that was the best workout ever. And you're sore the next day and then you're like, yep, I'm pretty sore, so I'm good for the next week. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this again. Oh, I did legs for the first time in two months. Oh, they're really sore. Uh, uh, I don't wanna do legs again, that sucks. I actually think that working out legs is the best indicator on figuring out whether somebody's like telling the truth about whether they're consistent or not because after you do legs for a long time, months and months and years and years, it doesn't suck to do leg day every week. You're not just sore, you can't get out of bed. That doesn't happen every single time. But if someone is always sore after leg day, maybe they're not consistent because I'm not sore after leg day. Yeah, they're a little bit sore and tired, but like, not the full-blown muscle soreness that you get from not doing it for months and then doing it again. I don't get that because I'm consistent. I don't miss a leg workout. I don't miss a pull workout, a push workout. There are so many benefits that come with being consistent. And you will only get that if you're consistent. You're not gonna find that anywhere else. It's all those little things that add up every single day. It's the little consistent things that you do every single day that add up over the course of a year. Like eating clean, brushing your teeth, getting a decent amount of sleep every night. You know, all of those things by themselves, one day, every couple weeks, it's not gonna do anything. If you brush your teeth once a week, how's that gonna help your dental health? So if you go to the gym every now and then, not really consistently, you're not doing yourself a whole lot of favors. Eventually, you're gonna have to clench your fists, grit your teeth, and commit to your goal. You must be consistent with all the things you do in life, especially if you're going to be breaking a bad habit and starting a new one. The only way that's gonna work is if you stick to it. That just applies to everything in life, you know? Give your new job a year before you decide to quit. 
Give your university or college two, three years before you decide to drop out. Wisdom comes from experience and you want to be in a knowledgeable place when you make decisions. Give your relationship at least six months before you give up. You owe it to yourself to be consistent in your life, in all things. Build good habits, be dedicated to your goals, and don't give up on yourself so easily. Give yourself a chance to learn, grow, and experience. You must be consistent.